painting I'm talking to you about today is Rembrandt's Head of an Old Man in a Cap. It's a small painting, it's on panel. It was painted during Rembrandt's early period in Leiden, and it shows an old man wearing a simple cloak and a little black cap. This was thought to be a portrait of Rembrandt's father, but we now know that it's a trony, an anonymous character head painted in the style and manner of head studies for history painting. Some of the loose and rough effect here is related to the sketchy style in which head studies were done. This painting was actually rejected as by Rembrandt in 1979. The main reason it was rejected was because it was so loosely painted. And you see here in areas of the forehead and also in areas of the face and the nose that there are open brush strokes. It was thought that Rembrandt only painted in one style, and that was smoother, and that he later became rougher. However, it's clear that in works like this, however, that he also started to become experiment with loose technique. In fact, when you look closely at the painting, you can see how wonderfully solidly formed the head is. You move around the head, you move through over the forehead, you realize that those wrinkles in the forehead are wonderfully convincingly rendered, you even see a little trick that Rembrandt does in other paintings, where he turns the brush around and uses the butt end to scrape a little bit of paint off, and here to show light little lines then as a result that pick out the eyebrow of the shaded side of the face. Rembrandt is a master at composition, and he picked out these tension points across the, at the edge. No other artist does this. There is in fact also a print after this that claims that Rembrandt was the artist, and it turned out that that was done by a collaborator of Rembrandt and forms documentary evidence that only supports the mastery of the depiction that we see here.